I hate doing this in here. Ah, I ain't got it plugged in anyway. Mm -hmm. These things, uh, they smell literally like Bigfoot's ass. Have you been sniffing Bigfoot ass lately? Don't judge me. Don't you dare judge me. You know, it occurs to me that every year around this time, I always stress the importance of accepting the weather change. Open the windows. Don't start putting a whole bunch of clothes on. Don't baby ourselves. So that way, when it gets super cold, we have just a little bit of an edge. We can go out and endure the weather just a little bit more. It's not going to make us Superman or anything like that, but we can have just that little bit of edge. And that little bit of edge is important. So, from this time forward, you better keep these windows right here are going to be uh, open. Um, there will be certain days that they will be closed, of course, but when it's just extremely, extremely bitter, or they may be minimally open, but for the most part, this will become a cold room, so hopefully Lucas is going to be okay with that. If not, I guess he'll be working like a snowman all bundled up. <laughs> For the most part, I'll still just have my shorts and a t-shirt on. Every once in a while, I'll put pants on, but that's about it. Maybe so. You know, so I sent my wife to Tandy's last night, you know. She always goes to all these, uh, Maya, go to your pillow. Maya, go. She's eating Stop eating leather scraps off the floor, you nasty little... All right, but so I sent my wife to uh, Tandy's, you know, on a supply run. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, man, I am just, I, I've about had it with Tandy's. I, I swear to God, when I joke about starting a website, futandys.com, mm -hmm. I'm serious. These freaking halter snaps right here and these roller buckles, okay, these are both three-quarter inch. I have needed one inch for over a month now. You yeah. know that. Yeah, and the... Uh the, oh yeah, and that particular, and that, yeah. and that particular buckle. Yeah. But they can't seem to keep them in stock. I run into this freaking problem with them all the time, and I wish I could blame it on management or anything else. But the management at the store is great. They they they're doing their job just fine. Yeah. It's the freaking warehouse. How is it that the warehouse can't produce the things that? we need they sell this stuff to businesses you know what i mean mm -hmm. now as a business what are we trying to do provide customers with their items right yeah, how can we provide customers with their items if we can't keep our freaking hardware in stock yeah. because tandy's is always constantly out. all right everybody listen this is how serious i am i'm going to turn the hat around right now okay so if anybody out there knows of a good quality individual that sells um, these halter snaps right here and these buckles, I know of another place that sells these buckles and I can get them. And so the buckles I'm not as worried about. But these halter snaps here are, are uh, very hard to find. In fact, the only place I've found them so far is Tandy's. But I tell you what, you guys... This is where you all come in. I need you guys to overload me with messages. Overload me with PMs and messages about where to get good quality hardware. And if you are somebody that has this type of hardware and you want to sell it, send me some samples. I would love to take a look at it. And if I like your samples, I will do a lot of business with you. A lot of business with you. I give Tandy's hundreds of dollars a, a week. Hundreds borderline like yesterday was damn near a thousand dollars that we that we spent and most of it they didn't have so if you guys know of anybody or you yourself are somebody let me know